I'm hunting yet again in the Limpopo Valley of South Africa. This time I'm hunting blue wildebeest with good friends of mine, Christy Clark and Deirdre Brown. Occupying walk here this morning. You can see this little marks here at the back. It's just pins that's dragging. And there's also a little Jeanette that walked here. Also early this morning and there's some good tracks as well.
wildebeest just ran away from me. There's a whole herd of them. And I'm moving towards an open open field, so I'm gonna try and stalk them. Maybe get a shot in. There's a big bull that's running with this herd. A few other bulls as well. frontal shot on this wallabies bull. Uh, it looks like a long shot. So uh, unfortunately the light's getting a little bit low now so I have to hurry up and see if I can find this bull. Three, four hundred meters in this ticket cages. He's down there. Beautiful bull. The first shot was a frontal shot. I see it hit him a little bit to the right. I had to track him. Track him down for maybe, I don't know, 600, 800 meters. It was a herd of about maybe 10, 15 animals, and um, we got an opportunity to take this bull. He was facing me directly, and I took a frontal shot. Um, I aimed for his heart. We followed him on his blood trail for about two, three hundred meters, and uh, we bumped into him in, uh, in some acacia thickets. But uh, I was just too slow to take a shot, and he, he got spooked. He ran off again. Um, I followed his, his blood trail again here in the acacia thickets for about four, five hundred meters. Um, I saw him run away about hundred meters in front of me. He didn't stop, so uh, I took a shot from behind, and um, I, I, I guess I punctured his lungs. To the closest road, maybe 300 meters. So uh, we've got some work to do tonight. But it's a beautiful animal, large body. It's a big bull. Just look at this long uh, mane. We've been hunting them for, for a few days. 
Um, what an experience. It was a thrill-packed hunt. What a privilege to be uh, on the banks of the Limpopo and it's quite interesting how you start your Kotsia adventures. So as a young boy I hunted you know, thousands of animals actually. Um, I shot my first animal when I was four years old and uh, wow. I uh, grew up in the bush. Now what is your vision? Try and capture the essence of, um, of hunting or how I experience hunting. You know, it's, it's not walking into the bush and shoot something or yeah. driving around shooting something. Um, there's a lot more than that. Um, and um, I wanted to bring a message, you know, yeah. a hunting message. Mm -hmm. um, I, don't wanna, I wanna capture yeah. the essence of hunting, the essence of the bush or the area where you're hunting in, mm. ethic behind that. Unfortunately, hunting is a very controversial topic these days mm. and it shouldn't be. It's not exactly. much more than that. Uh, hunting is uh, important. You know, it was part of our survival, our Boer families that came here in 1652. Yeah. You know, growing up here, yeah, hunting, you you have a different perspective about mm -hmm. life, about wildlife, about your food. Mm -hmm. You know, people walking to the, to the shopping center and, and buying a piece of rum, some people actually believe that the, the yeah. grocery store produces the meat. Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. You, you need to know where that your food comes from, the ethic behind it. For me, it's about respect, the animals. Yeah. You know, the Bible tells us to rule and reign. Um, and it's important to respect the animal you hunt. Yes. You know, shoot, shooting for the pot or shooting a trophy, it's for me, it's just part of our life. It's part yeah. of our culture. You know, a lot of people ask me, you know, why do you shoot uh, so many animals? Why do you shoot that kind of animals? Um, I mean, I get it from friends, I get it from uh, you know, activist, animal activist, and um, I can't really put it in words. You know, mm. it's for me. I know it's our culture. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of our culture. So mm. I, I endorse that. Yeah. But but apart from that, for me, it's not just my my hobby or my passion or or just a, a pastime mm. thing I do. It is who I am. It mm. is a way of life for me. We, we, we pride ourselves in the fact that we can be self-sustainable. Mm. We always want a piece of farm or yeah. something. We want yeah. to grow our, our own vegetables, yeah. you know, and our own crop. And then for me, hunting is about being self-sustainable, yeah. you know. Yeah. And also, I mean, you, you've mentioned this morning, we spoke about it, um, conservation is quite important. Yeah. I mean, we love trees and we see, we spoke about the elephants yeah. and, and yes. wow. you know, um, the damage to trees with medicinal value for animals yeah. and stuff like that. That's yeah. also part of hunting. It's not only for, you know, about killing a, a, a buck or whatever. Yeah. I agree on that. There are more animals currently that there was in 1900. Yeah. Because 
you know, Absolutely. game farmers, it's not about hunting, it's to protect the species, yeah. to, you know, to, uh, to breed with different species. Yeah. I mean, you can take the roan or the sable or whatever, you know, yeah. they were almost extinct. And now these days, you know, you get a, a buffalo breeding, you get sable breeding, you get a roan breeding, and and and, and, and th those species are protected now these days, and for our future generation to yeah. see it. You know what? When it comes to conservation, people that do the most conservation are the people on the front line of conservation. The people yeah. that are usually not seen, yeah. you know, in the media. It's a, it's a game capture, it's a game reader, it's a hunter. Yeah. It is those kind of people. And yes. if, if, you, if you understand this, if you grew up in this kind of environment, environment where yeah. you get your food from the, from the right. felt, and from I, the felt. you understand what you need to do to conserve. Yeah. You can't conserve sitting in your house and do yeah. it on the, you online. Have to maintain the you have to do it well. yeah. And it's hard work. We, uh, in the 1960s, we had about um, approximately 500,000 head of game in, in South Africa. Today we are above 20 million, and it's because yeah. of hunting in the first place. Yeah. Once the um, the Fest Act came in, um, mm. farmers were allowed to own the game, to own them, mm -hmm. uh, to trade with them, yeah. to hunt them, that kind of thing. And then, once that happened, game yeah. just the monetary value just started rising, and suddenly, mm. everybody started. Not everybody, yeah. but most people, a lot of people started to, to protect the animals because there's monetary value yeah. on it. South Africa's conservation success story is unprecedented around the world. Yeah. It's yeah. unique, it is a huge yeah. success story, mm -hmm. and there's so much bad media on South Africa when it comes to the hunting industry. Yeah. We are the stewards of nature, and uh, we, we've got a responsibility there. Yeah. We've got a responsibility there. So.